Hamilton is now home to a groundbreaking new research center. St. Joseph's Healthcare Hamilton launched a center that looks at how psychedelics might be useful in medicine. Eric Viano has the details. The chief innovation officer at St. Joe's says psychedelics have shown great promise when it comes to treating things like chronic pain, depression, and addiction. And one woman who deals with chronic pain says psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, helps her immensely. As soon as I was handed a five gram magic mushroom, I was so desperate at the time for relief that I ate it. Allison Mearden suffers from trigeminal neuralgia, a chronic facial pain condition. She says one day in 2017, she was at her wit's end, which led her to try psychedelics. After 15 minutes, I was pain free for five hours for the first time. So I went to my doctor and asked for an authorization for psychedelics. Ever since, Mearden has been an advocate for using them for medicinal purposes. I've been waiting since 2017 for the government to legalize and regulate all of these substances that people like me will soon to feel better. And we're still losing. And that wish could be getting closer. St. Joseph's Healthcare Hamilton is dedicating a research center at its West 5th campus to take a closer look at how psychedelics might be useful in medicine. Psychedelics research has basically reached a turning point and is rapidly emerging as an area in medicine where we have the potential to transform how we manage patients with very serious medical conditions. Some of these conditions include mental health, substance abuse disorders, neurodegenerative disorders, and chronic pain. Right now, the research center is doing active trials with psilocybin to treat chronic pain and cannabis addiction. There are people who just cannot function without daily use of cannabis. And uh, so we have a trial that's looking at the, the role of psilocybin in addressing this cannabis disuse uh, uh, dysfunction. And it's not just psilocybin that will be researched. We'll also be looking at the role of ketamine, MDMA, DMT, a whole host of the, the psychedelics to see which ones uh, will provide therapeutic benefit for our patients, which patients and in what dosing. And so, that, so we'll be looking at the full gamut. This research center will act as a hub to connect researchers across Canada and around the world. Now, the psychedelics in the research are tightly regulated while recreational use remains illegal.